Is it fish in general or just tuna fish? <laughs> um, I definitely don't like tuna. I mean, like especially like canned tuna and terms for like sandwiches. Ugh. Um, Sardines. Yeah. Basically, I can have fish if it's really fresh, but if I taste any fish, like if I taste, <laughs> like if I taste the fishiness, I love fish, but if it tastes like fish, <laughs> no, if it, if I could taste the fishiness, that that fishy flavor, mm -hmm. I will want to vomit. So sushi, do you like do you like certain sushis? Because Alexis, I've, she's like you. I've Alexis been able isn't a fish to man. Have sushi sometimes. Um, if it's like really good quality, of it's course. like it's fresh, and, very fresh, uh, and only certain kind. I don't know. I, I would what assume kind of California roll is okay. That's the stuff that has the seaweed and the rice and the avocado and know. cucumber. I don't but know the names of them. Salmon, just raw salmon. It, yeah, yeah, usually, baby. Usually I can, mm -hmm. but there is like I, well, I've ordered it at the California Fish Grill before, and it usually is is good, and I, I can eat it, and it, there's no fish. But sometimes like there's certain like I'll eat a full one, and then I get into the half of the second one, and I can taste fish, and I have to stop because I I, so I want to vomit. Oysters on the half shell. Oh, God. Oh, and that's a texture thing. I can't oh, do. that's glorious. It's like boogers. Just Hey, welcome back to our stupid ranks of Corbin. I love oysters. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thanks for watching. Oh, subscribe to the money. They taste like the the sea. I just oh, ice cold, huge. Oy, I can eat them till I'm Buggers. sick. I can eat. I can eat forty of them. Uh, oh. And so a shock to a bunch of people. Lust Stories 2 is coming out. Say what? Yeah, Lust Stories 2. Uh, so obviously we know about the first Lust Stories. Haven't seen it yet. Maybe now we're going to have to fast track Lust Stories. We know it's part of the anthology series that Zoya yeah. Anurag and Karen Johar did. Um, but that's Bombay Talkies was first and then Lust Stories and then Ghost Stories, I believe, right? Right. But no, none of the same directors, none of the same actors, none of the same stories. They're just doing another anthology. Got it. Less stories. But it has a bunch of people we know in it. Um, Dosts, I believe, and just actors that we love a lot. Yep. Um, so this is exciting. Uh, we, if, if this is coming out soon, we might need to get to less stories soon. <laughs> Just, well, not that it's a continuation of the story, so you may no, not have to be. There's, there's two reasons, and one of them, I don't know. If, uh, what? There's a truth about Netflix that's really bad. And it has to do with watch stuff that's on there until it's gone. Because once it's gone, it's gone forever. And even the creators can't get it back. Oh, yeah. Heard about that. Uh, all right, ready? Here we go. And this is the teaser, by the way. It's not the official trailer. That's Kajo. That sure was. Hey, Tilotama. Hey, Tilotama. Hey, Tilotama. Test drive. <laughs> So Shadi se pehle no test drive. Hey! Now I have to see it. Hey, Bowman! No, I don't think so. Is that Bowman? Yeah. Ma. Okay, the number of people in there that we know or know of is high level. Kajo? Yeah. How exciting. Uh, in Kajo in Lust Stories. Is it an anthology? Okay, let's see. Easy for ride. Lust Stories 2 is coming soon to Netflix. Directed by oh, Konkani Sen Sharma. She looks okay, like it, so yeah. So it is an anthology. And Sujoy Ghosh. Uh, which is great. Um, Telotama, Vijay Varma, Kajol, uh, and a whole bunch of other people I did recognize as mm -hmm. well, but I, I uh, not as uh, on a first-name basis with them. But I... and you, you don't have to show me anything else. No, exactly. And what I was referring to, if you don't know, you can just look it up real quick, 30 seconds. Um <clears throat> Netflix is stopping the creation of any DVDs. And uh, example, if you look for the movie Hush on Netflix, it's gone. Because once it doesn't get a certain numbers of viewers, Netflix takes it down. But then there's no preservation of it anywhere because they had exclusive rights to it. And even Mike Flanagan, the writer and director and creator of Hush, couldn't get them to get a copy. Flanagan's series, Midnight Mass, is a Netflix release. Mm. 
he couldn't get a hard copy from them and had to have someone else create a Blu-ray that was done via <clears throat> other means mm. because there was no way for him to have it. And anything that's on Netflix right now, once it's gone, it is gone forever. The, the movie Hush is a really good horror film. No one can watch it anywhere on earth, including the man who made it and the actors who are in it because Netflix just will not. They've actually become the very thing they were trying to not be, Yikes. which is a, they started off preserving and helping film. And now content example, season one of Lust Stories, once it's gone. I don't know why they would get rid of it. It's theirs, though, like in terms of like because they create it's about it. it's about viewers and subscribers. That's their money base. So mm -hmm. if people aren't watching something, they take it off the platform. <coughs> gotcha. And then it's um, it's it will never be seen again unless they put it back up. But I, uh, I'm very interested in this because, one, just the cast and the, the, the creators involved. Uh, some are our, well, Sujo Josh is a Bondu, correct? Correct. He is a Bengali. Because he's Bengali. Uh, so he is a Bondu of ours. Same with Tilla, isn't Tilla Tama? No, I don't believe the little, I don't believe she's Bengali. I think she's just a dost. Correct me if we're wrong. Obviously, sorry we, if I'm forgetting. And that. another dose, VJ Varma, a future yep. dose in Kajol, of course. Yes, of course. Um, please, that would be that would be amazing. I think Steph would freak out. Um, there's not. A lot. You've heard good things about the first. Yes. Love stories. Yes. Yeah, I have. Yes. Uh, I think I think they're all pretty well. Especially a lot of people really like the love stories, and a lot of people really like Bombay talkies. Ghost stories wasn't. As well, as well received, received. Um, but I'd still like to see it. I would I'd like too. To, I'd like to see all these anthologies. They've yeah. been on the the list for a long time, a long time. Just because one, the the creators themselves. I think in the original list, I, I think Vicky is in the original list stories actually. Hmm. Um, yeah, was the original list stories? Was that the anthology that obviously had Anyarag, Zoya, and Zoya Kieran, Akhtar, and Kieran Johar, and Kieran Johar, and then, yeah. Uh, this uh say his name and uh, uh dibakar Banerjee. we've seen a lot of which stuff. that last name tells me Bengali. um but they did they they did all those anthologies that right listed ghost stories right love stories and bombay talkies right uh writers writing uh, well she wrote segments okay on your okay um but and Radica then Radica Opte, Opte, come on that uh, there is price of admission Bumi, uh -huh. uh to jai deep Vicky Vicky? Kaushal. Yep. Rasika. Hey. Uh, it was Rasika. I thought I saw Rasika's face in this one as well. I saw Tilotama and then I thought I saw Rasika peek around the corner. I don't know. Because uh, it's not giving me a lot of information. Uh, Lost stories. To. Because to, I thought I saw Bowman too, but I could be wrong. No, that's Lost Stories 1. Right. We want Lust Stories to cast. You have to basically go anywhere else other than... IMDb. IMDb. <laughs> uh, starring cast Nina Gupta. That's it's not giving me a... None of the not real. giving me a lot. Cast and crew. Oh, here we go. Lust Stories 2 cast and crew. Kajol. Uh, Sujoy is VG Varma. The director's... Okay, yeah. I'm not getting a lot of information. Not a lot of info. So you guys can let us know. Uh, there was a bunch of people I did recognize. Yeah. I um, um, I'm going to look up real quick Rasika if for some reason, because sometimes that'll happen. It doesn't show it on the actual show, but it'll show up as a project mm. on the actor's IMDb. <coughs> so let's see. Filmography for Rasika. Films in production. I need TV. Okay, yeah, it doesn't it doesn't show anything, so, and that would show uh, Tilotama. Let's see if it even shows it up because we definitely saw her. Yeah, Lust Stories two, she's listed as cast. Who? Tilotama. Oh no, I knew Tilotama was in it. I know. You were saying Rasika. so does Ka Kajol shown up there, but not, obviously not everybody's on there yet. It only shows seven cast members. So, yeah, anyway. we, we might need to get to uh, Lust Stories uh, sooner rather than later, just so, I mean, like I said, it's not a continuation, but you should, I mean, if it's Lust Stories 2, you should see Lust Stories 1. Yeah. If it's um, 
It has no I really relation. No relation it's necessarily. Just, but maybe it does. It's all themed. So like Bombay Talkies is uh, four different stories about Bombay. Right. Uh, in, in the industry. Uh, and I think it revolves similar around like, the stories of actually Jubilee. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Around it does. that time. And so Modern Love was that way as well yeah. in terms of... And then Lust Stories is all just kind of risque stories. My suspicion... And then ghost stories. ...is that there might be a couple of Easter eggs or or maybe one or two characters who come in and through, maybe. maybe. I, I, it's got to be a good thing to see Lust Stories 1 first. I don't know. It's a prerequisite. Yeah, I don't, yeah. I, but I, I've wanted to see all of them it's, regardless. It's, it's like Black Mirror. You don't have to see the first season to... Just jump in anywhere. But you should. Uh, even though I have, I've only seen like three episodes of Black Mirror. <gasps> oh, it's it is. Yeah. Oh. Uh, anyways, let us know what you thought about it uh, down below.